Hey everyone, Hammer Dan here with Hammer Performance. Today we're going to talk about the bronze oil pump drive gear. Um, what is it? Where does it go? Why do we need it? How do we put it on? All those good things and whatnot. So, with that being said, this is what it looks like. Show you a picture here real quick of what the oil bronze oil pump drive gear looks like there. So in uh, 2006, Buell developed and came out with the bronze oil pump drive gear uh, for their bikes. Um, basically had it for 06 and 07 only. In 08, they changed the cam box design to where they didn't need it anymore. They incorporated the oil pump into the, the cam box area. But they developed the bronze oil pump drive gear to replace the steel drive gear, oil pump drive gear in the cam box um, one, early on with the XBs, when they came out, they had a rev limiter to 7,500 RPMs. Um, they were spinning the bikes pretty high, and uh, over a period of time, they had failures with the oil pump drive gear. What they were getting was flywheel spread. At higher RPMs, they would get flywheel spread, which would cause the pinion shaft to have some run out or wallow a little bit in there and when they had that they would get tight loose tight loose tight loose with the oil pump drive gear and the oil pump gear and of course steel on steel uh, over a period of time doesn't work very well they started to wear teeth uh, to the point where they wore the teeth down so much to where they would shear the teeth off and of course anytime we're wearing teeth down we're sending shrapnel through the motor, at least tiny pieces of steel shrapnel through the motor, and then eventually it could cause a catastrophic failure where it shears teeth off, sends them into the oil pump, locks up oil pumps, starves the motor, all those fun things, wrecking cams and everything else uh, within the motor. So that's the main reason why they developed the bronze oil pump drive gear was to replace the steel one. The bronze oil pump drive gear is a little more forgiving material-wise. Uh, it flexes a little bit better meshing with the steel. The wear characteristics are a lot better. So once they came out with this, it kind of alleviated a lot of those problems that they were having earlier on with the Buell XBs with the 7,500 RPM rev limit. So with that being said, here is a steel oil pump drive gear. We'll zoom in and I'll show you. If we take a hard look at the teeth there, you can see between the teeth we have some wear on there. And notice that it's only on one side, not both. Um, of course, this is the drive side. So when we have that uh, flywheel spread and wallow, we would get tight, loose, tight, loose, tight, loose, and it would continue to wear those teeth uh, uh, on the drive side there. So um, that's the main reason why they went ahead and, and replaced it with, with the bronze oil pump drive gear. So. We suggest on all of our performance builds, of course, now, or at least our horsepower builds where we're changing out cams, we highly recommend that we swap out the, the oil pump drive gear to a bronze oil pump drive gear uh, anytime we're replacing cams. Um, at that point, we feel we're making enough power where it becomes a, a valid point to change this out. Normally on just our basic conversions where we're not swapping out cams, um, there's not enough power there or whatnot to, to really play or have an effect with, with the gear so we don't suggest it so rule of thumb for us when you're swapping cams out with any of our horsepower performance packages or any cams in general it's a good idea for reliability purposes to go ahead and swap out the uh, the steel drive gear to a, a bronze oil pump drive gear so um, with that being said we will go ahead and uh, um, show you how to put this, this on the bike it's going to go on the pinion shaft. There's a keyway cut out. If we take a look here, there's a keyway cut out uh, in the gear itself. Okay, and there's a keyway. Uh, there's a keyway slot cut out on the on the drive gear, and then we have a keyway on the pinion shaft itself there. So we're going to go ahead and slide this bronze oil pump drive gear over, lock up, uh, line up the uh, key the slot that's cut into it, and go ahead and slide it all the way on there. So now, as you see, as you can see there, we have part of the keyway sticking out about an eighth of an inch or so. That keyway is there for a purpose. It's going to line up with the notch that's on our pinion gear. Okay, so if we see the pinion gear in that notch, um, and then directly lined up with that notch, we have the mark on one of the teeth there for time, our timing purposes there with the number two drive gear. 
So again, we're going to go ahead and slide this on and we're going to slide it right on to that keyway so it locks right in there onto that keyway. Now we're timed as far as the pinion shaft goes with the crank uh, and whatnot. So at this point, um, we're going to go ahead and put on the nut. So let me step over here on this side. Um, we're going to go ahead. Now when we put the nut on, um, before we put the nut on, we highly recommend using one of our, our grind lock tools. Um, we put a lot of effort into making this tool. The teeth and the meshing of the teeth is very, very tight tolerance between our tool and the pinion gear itself. Whereas some of the other co competition out there, they're, they're a little bit suspect as far as holding those teeth and chances of uh, ripping teeth off not only the tool, but also your pinion gear and having to replace the pinion gear. So real quick, I want to talk about how we install one of our grind lock tools. Um, we get this question quite a bit from a lot of people that are, are, that are um, putting, replacing the bronze oil pump drive gear. Um, so when we put this tool on, I've had people call me a lot and ask, tell me it doesn't fit. Um, and, and they try to put it on this way from the side. And as we can see, the teeth don't line up there coming in from the side. The way to uh, use the grind lock tool and mesh the teeth is you have to come from you to the bike itself in this direction here. And we're going to go ahead and mesh teeth to teeth there. So kind of line up the teeth and then slide it right on there. And as you can see, it slides on and is a really nice fit on the teeth right there. Okay, now at this point in time, we can rotate it up or down, line up our bolt holes there, and then go, put in, go ahead and put in our Allen bolts to secure the locked locking tool. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Put this on there. Be careful uh, tightening these down. You don't want to get too crazy. It's just a quarter inch and uh, it's into aluminum. So we just want to go ahead and kind of snug it down there. Same with this one, snug it down. If you want to get real specific, you can look at the torque specs. I think it calls for like 110 inch pounds. Um, so at this point, we've gone ahead and we've locked our pinion gear so it won't move. That's very important. You never want to put this nut on there with a air gun, um, impact gun. You can go ahead and knock the crank out of true if that happens, motor's got to come completely apart. So it's, it's, it's imperative that you use some kind of tool there to lock that pinion gear when putting the nut on to torque it down. So at this point, we're ready to put the nut on. We want to use lots of red Loctite on here to hold this nut. We do not want this nut coming loose. If this nut comes loose, we're going to cause carnage in the motor. Um, we're going to rotate that pinion gear. Our timing is going to be off because it's going to shear that end of that uh, keyway that's there. We're gonna have valve to piston contact. We're gonna break valves. We're gonna smash valves with pistons, wreck pistons, wreck cylinders, wreck heads. So it can become a major catastrophe if this nut comes loose. So lots of red Loctite. We're gonna go ahead and put the nut on. Turn that all the way down. And then at this point, when we get it here, we're gonna go ahead and torque that nut. So manual says, manual says to torque it to 35 to 40 foot pounds. That's way too, way too loose in our, in, our, um, in our process here. We want to torque this thing to 75 to 80 foot pounds. Okay, locking tool will hold it. You should be able to torque it to that, no problem. At this point, we're going to go ahead and, and torque it. Click, click, uh, 75, 80 foot pounds, lots of red Loctite. Um, that way we ensure that nut doesn't come off and, and cause a, a catastrophic failure within the motor. So other than that, that's, uh, that's kind of the bronze oil pump uh, drive gear in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, post at the bottom. Be more than happy to answer for you. Um, let us know how we're doing. Other than that, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Peace out.